lobster. It's sweet, tender, and pure deliciousness. But it's also one of those dishes that we tend to only order at restaurants because the idea of cooking live lobster at home can be really intimidating. But today, we're gonna show you how to conquer your food fear of lobster. and Jim Salikas of Cousins Maine Lobster right in front of their famous food truck. They're gonna teach us how to cook and prepare live lobster like the pros. You may recognize these guys from ABC Shark Tank, the cousins who grew up together in Maine, parted ways to start their careers, and then in 2012 got together and opened Cousins Maine Lobster, a food truck featuring the fresh Maine lobster they grew up on here in Los Angeles. All right, guys, I'm so excited to learn how to cook live lobster. What's the first thing that we need to do? Bring your pot of water to a boil. All right, and what are we gonna put in this pot of water? We do salt water and seaweed back home, but if you're on- And you guys do real ocean water, right? We do. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta send, keep it authentic. I send Sam down with a bucket and a pail, and when he's done doing like sand castles, he brings the salt water <laughs> Good back. Good for weightlifting too, so you can carry them and you know, get really strong. All but right. here, so you can you know do the same idea. Great. But with your sea salt, oh yeah. There whoa, we go. Whoa, whoa. You really brought that up quickly. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the live lobster. Now, what is the purpose of putting them on ice? Calm them down, it relaxes them as well. You also want to keep the lobster as fresh as long as possible. So you have really a short window to keep the live lobsters until they're ready to go. So you, you can, can keep it in your fridge, your fridge as, well. as well. Do you recommend cooking the lobster with the rubber bands on the claws to protect yourself? The best way to do it is take the bands off. It actually helps with the flavor um, and overall kind of tenderness of the meat. Mazel tov. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Have you guys ever been pinched before? Um, as punishment. As little kids, yeah. We used to put like coins in their in their claws to race and on the floor Wait. together. Uh -huh. Coins? You were probably drinking them. Okay. Time, but, yeah. By the way, if you do this with lobsters and you rub them right here, they'll fall asleep. Yep. Yeah. What? Sleep. Are you Try serious? Try yeah. Are you Go kidding me? Like a, do it for like a, no, no, get like no, serious yeah, in there. Yeah, don't like, get, well, okay. I, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not yeah. kidding. Am I rubbing just, his butt? This is like, I don't know, but this is, this this they will fall asleep though, literally, if you do this for like a minute, it's kind of like when you do it with a snail, <laughs> when you pump a snail, they'll fall asleep, and then this is what we also used to do, and then they'll kind of hold up. This look, feels look, like, look, look at it, look at yoga. Oh my god. Sand eventually they'll kick out of it. So what is the most humane way to cook the lobster and what are some of their techniques that people use? Uh, the most humane way that we do and that most people should is a boiling or steam pot of water, head first in, um, and then, you know, nine minutes later it's, it's all over. But it's just, it's not, um, you know, screaming from the lobster, it's really just air releasing and it's probably the most humane and, and natural way to do it. Here we go. All right. All right. See you. I'll One, just drop them slow. Yeah, that'd go. All right. Good oh. work. Oh, see you. How long are we going to cook the lobster for? You don't want to do about nine to ten. Everyone's got their own kind of range, but nine to ten minutes per pound. Traditionally in Maine, definitely need a potato, whether it's mashed or some skillet, russet, roasted potatoes. Corn for sure. We're known for mm -hmm. sweet Maine corn. That's delicious. Jimmy likes coleslaw. Coleslaw, you can always have on the side. We're also drinking, mm -hmm. so you need to have something that's paired and it's going to taste delicious. While Jimmy and I like beers, our mothers do white wine. Oh, They're going to put wine. down two bottles and at least. The, yeah. Oh, well, okay. look at all me. Right. All right. Best Ooh, hostess ever, you. white thank wine you. for us. Yeah, so this is going to be bring out a nice buttery flavor of Chardonnay to complement your lobster. We don't have to wait butter. for the lobster, do we? No, we can Let's choose. Cheers. 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 Cheers to us. We're halfway right. there. Okay, so this has been in about 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's bright red. It looks ready. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my yeah. God. Yeah. Okay. Big yep. daddy. Mm -hmm. That looks oh not alive. And also you can see that the, the meat is white as opposed to translucent. Bingo. That's another good way to check. All right, let's eat them. Cool, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just one indication for um, cooking the lobster from the live state, you never want to cook it if it's expired. And one way to know when you're done is that the, the tail will round itself underneath its body. So like this, you see it stays underneath. But if you had cooked it um, as it was expired, the tail would be out like that. And then, so it's just a good way to know that health-wise, you're, you're safe and good to go. You have to have at least a pick. You know, fork is necessary or unnecessary. Okay. Um, depending on how strong you are, which I'm very strong, Jim's a little weak. You <laughs> might, you're gonna use these. Okay. Thank you. Okay, be gentle. Mm -hmm. And really, you're just gonna get dirty. We, need, we have the butter, we have the mm -hmm. lemon, we have the white wine, let's do it. Okay. So these are the little legs, not much meat in them, but it's really sweet. So Saban will show you how, but you can rip from this side, just literally take it by the base and rip right off. 
Ooh, and then yeah. you want to just get rid of that piece. Bite. And then put the leg in the mouth. Okay. Yep. So that's what you're doing for like sweet little tender meat. Then we're going to go to the two claws, claw and knuckle. You, you're going to rip the whole knuckle and claw off together. Pretend you're really tough. Okay, so why don't you show me and I'll watch you. Wow. Oh, the whole thing. See that yep. Oh, that was easy. Mm -hmm. So this guy is, this is your knuckle. Okay. And then it's your claw. So you can separate now the claw, the knuckle from the claw. That a girl. So this is cartilage you're going to want to remove, which is in all the claws. You're taking this out of the meat. So you can remove this little guy first from the claw, mm -hmm. then you end up with your meat. So now I'm going to break it. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, yeah. Oh, hey. my. Oh, wow. That is the money shot. The right money there. shot. So we got the meat out of the claw. These little guys, what's next? Knuckle. Oh, Grab your knuckle. my knuckle go? Grab your, Grab your knuckle. knuckle. So we crack it with... Crack it. Crack okay. it. Crack it like a saw. Okay. You can either pull it, but most likely stick your finger in there and poke it up. Oh. Yep. Yeah. And you're good. Yeah, you don't, need, you don't need fancy equipment here. No, no, no. That's the whole point. All right. So now you can compare. You had your claw. Mm. She seems Really happy. yummy. She seems mm -hmm. happy. Well, Tender, good. sweet. So next we're going to attack the tail. The tail. Let's see yes. if you can do it without it. Just oh no no I cannot. Going pure instinct. Yes, you might be able. Pure to. instinct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we want to take the tail off. Right. So oh. I'm I'm thinking we're gonna use yeah, our hands. Yeah, let it go. Good. Good. Keep going. Very nice. Okay. So now you're gonna take these guys off. You can do it one by one. Or so once you remove those guys, you're going to uh, do the oh. same thing you did with the knuckles and just put push the meat out and the tail in. in. So you're just going to want to pull that back. Pull it pull back. Pull all back, yep. Okay. You've got your clean lobster tail? Yes. And then it's a matter of whether you want to take it like this. I usually rip it apart down the middle, yeah, but it's completely up to how you like to do it. See, the tail is so tough compared to everything yeah, else. I don't know why it gets all saying? the credit and attention. I want to try the tail. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Guys, thank you so much for teaching me how to cook live lobster. Thank you. you did a great job. Thanks. It was all right. Good student, Jen. Yeah. What do you, I give her a B. What? A. A, a plus. That's the best grade you ever got. A minus. A plus. A minus. All right. Now that you have conquered your food fear of lobster, be sure and get your own fresh Maine lobster from CousinsMainLobster.com. I'm Brandy. We'll see you next time on Pop Sugar.